the food industry is packed full of career opportunities. I'm Emma Peterson, and join me to explore one of the many areas in the world of food processing, technology, and safety. Today, we are going to explore how pasta is made. First, we make the dough. In this formulation, we combine boiling water, semolina flour, olive oil, and salt in a stand mixer. Semolina flour is commonly used in pasta dough because it has a high protein content, which creates a stronger dough and allows it to hold its shape better when cooking. Then we knead the dough at high speed for 10 minutes until a smooth dough forms. After that, it is shaped into a ball, wrapped in plastic wrap, and allowed to rest for 30 minutes. This resting period allows the flour to hydrate and the protein network to relax, making the dough easier to work with. After resting, we can shape our dough. Today we are making cavatelli, a dumpling style pasta. We will need a baking sheet, bench scraper, gnocchi board, and flour. To shape our pasta, we cut off a section of the dough, roll it out into a thin log, and chop half inch pieces off. Next, the pasta is rolled across a gnocchi board to create its unique shape. We repeat this process until all of the dough has been rolled, cut, and shaped. In a processing facility, this process is called extrusion. The pasta dough is pushed through an opening that shapes the pasta, and a knife cuts the pasta into the appropriate length. After shaping, the pasta can be frozen and stored in the freezer for up to six months. It can also be cooked and served immediately with your favorite pasta sauce.